Geek Fitness. Hey everyone, it's Robert. Welcome back to another episode of Geek Fitness. And today I will reveal the fourth most important thing I have done to lose 68 pounds. So this morning I was able to weigh myself and I was down five pounds from the last time I weighed myself, which is about a week and a half ago. Um, but if we remember, I have gained three pounds because I started taking creatine, um, which kind of gives a lot of uh, water weight in uh, your muscle tissue. Uh, at the cellular level. So that's, you know, I was expecting uh, the water weight gain, so I did not let that get to me. Um, I think I'm, I'm past that now, and uh, my weight has now kind of dropped down uh, by five pounds since the last time I weighed myself. Uh, and the best part of that is I can't e notice even a larger difference in the ways my, my clothes are fitting and the way my body's looking. So I'm just going to continue on the road. Uh, things are working. And this thing is something I do every single day that has made a huge, huge difference for me. It's made this journey so easy. It's uh, I'm going to talk about why I, I think it's making it so easy and why I have such an easy time doing this. And I hope this can work for you. Uh, it may not. So so this thing is not something you need to do. Uh, in fact, there are many other systems, many other diet plans, many other lifestyles uh, that may be more successful for you uh, that you probably need to do. Um, but this is something I think everyone should try to see if it's something that works for them. Uh, it took me a couple weeks to really get to the point where it was part of my life, but uh, I hit a certain plateau uh, in, in doing this where it became just easy, very easy, second nature, uh, no problem, and, and makes my new lifestyle very easy. Uh, so the thing I'm talking about, you may have heard about it, it's kind of all the rage now, uh, in Silicon Valley, and for me, it has really worked, and it's intermittent fasting. So, you know, when I started my plan to lose weight, I didn't know what I was going to do. So I basically just ordered Nutrisystem. Uh, I know a lot of people have used it, have had success with it. I had success with it. I did it for about a month by the book. I lost a good deal of weight. It really got me jump started. Um, it told me what I needed to eat. Uh, I had prepackaged food that I could eat and add some vegetables and stuff. So it made things very, very easy. But it was a th it was a thing where you were eating very small meals, like tiny little meals, uh, you know, three meals a day plus two snacks. So you were eating. I was eating like five times a day. So. This is good for some people because it, it can keep your insulin level steady, but your insulin level will be up for most of the day, but it will it'll keep your insulin level steady. Uh, but I think my problem with it, and that's not a problem, for some people they like this better, um, but I was hungry all the time. All my meals seemed very restricted, um, and I found that I was hungry a lot the whole time I was on Nutrisystem. Um, I could have kept doing it and I think I would have kept losing weight uh, through sheer willpower. But as I started researching, I discovered intermittent fasting and I, I watched the documentary. I'm going to link. All right. So I'm, I'm going to link the documentary below for you. It is a documentary that was produced by the BBC and you could watch it in full for free on YouTube and it's called Eat Fast and Live Longer. So uh, we're talking about fasting, intermittent fasting, uh, and it will walk you through a lot of different scientific explanations and different protocols, and it'll give you a basic foundation of what it is and, and why it works. Now, I will say that there's, uh, there's differences of opinion, even in the scientific community, on why it works. Some believe that the influence it has on insulin is a big part of why it's so successful. 
meaning when you eat, your insulin increases, a hormone in your body increases. And that insulin is required to open your cells to make them available for energy uh, from the food that you're eating. So if you eat too much food, um, it's going to enable your fat cells to store fat. So without insulin or with very low insulin, that's where your body can tap in to your fat cells and burn them. So when you're intermittent fasting, you're fasting for some period of time, your body switches when it runs out of the glucose, uh, the sugar that is in your blood, um, it switches over to burning fat. And that's what we want when we're trying to lose weight, right? We're trying to lose fat. So that's one part of it. Um, I don't know if that's true or not. There seems to be different opinions on this, even like I said, in the medical community. Um, but for me, I think it, uh, there was I, as there's a different reason it really works for me, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But but first of all, there's different protocols you can do with intermittent fasting. Uh, the 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 documentary that I just mentioned, um, this doctor came up with the five two protocol, which is basically you eat for five days and you fast for two days. So two days of the week usually not right next to each other, you don't eat for the day or you eat only 500 calories in that day. Um, so this lowers your overall calorie intake for the week. Uh, and also it has other benefits beyond losing weight. It has uh, something called autophagy that kicks in when your body uh, does not have food, your digestive system has time to rest, and a process called autophagy kicks in where your cells actually can repair themselves. And if you have food constantly going on into your body uh, and you're constantly digesting that food, you're not giving the body the time it needs to kind of go through that autophagy and heal itself. So it's really fascinating. You'll see in the documentary, they talk about these mice uh, where they would put them on fast. They would have 30% less calories, for example, and these mice would live much longer. So there's evidence to support the belief that by reducing your calorie intake, especially through fasting, that you can greatly reduce your risk of cancer and you can greatly improve, uh, increase your lifespan as well. So lots of great information out there on autophagy and how fasting impacts autophagy. Definitely worth looking into. Um, I believe it because when I started fasting, my skin cleared up. Um, you know, I felt better. My mind became more clear. Lots of things that I noticed of my health improving, not just losing weight, uh, but how healthy I felt, how healthy I looked, my skin, my hair, my nails, you know, all that stuff uh, really started to improve when I started doing intermittent fasting. So besides the 5-2 protocol, there's also uh, protocols like 16-8, where I fast for 16 hours and eat within an eight hour window. Right. So I might eat from noon. I might skip breakfast and have lunch at noon and then I will eat no later than eight o'clock in the evening. So then from eight o'clock on, I go to bed, say 10 and I wake up at if I wake up at eight, uh, that's 12 hours. I've already fasted, you know, by not eating in that lap before I go right before I go to bed for those two hours sleeping right until eight o'clock, uh, I'm at 12. I only have to go four more hours to make it to 16 and I've fasted for 16 hours. And again, at some point during the night, your body's gonna run out if you didn't eat too much, right? That's another part of this. You still, I mean, for me, I still had to count my calories and make sure I wasn't overeating during my window. And I would recommend you do that as well. But, uh, you know, so you've got that fasting period where you're giving your body time to switch and start burning fat. I did that for a while. I then I increased my, uh, I decreased my eating window and started doing eighteen six. That's fasting for eighteen hours and eating for six. Then I went to the warrior diet, which is twenty hours of fasting and a four hour window of eating. So I would eat, you know, between like four and eight o'clock. Have my first meal at four and then maybe another one at eight o'clock. And now I'm only doing. Uh, I'm only eating within a four-hour window and my, giving my body 20 hours uh, 
to, you know, live off of the fat that is still on my body and go into autophagy. So the longer you go, the more autophagy you're going to gain through fasting. Uh, so uh, also I've done OMAD, which is one meal a day where I don't eat anything. I just eat one meal, a big meal, um, you know, within an hour. Usually it takes about an hour or so uh, to get that that meal in. So now I kind of switch back and forth. Some days I do OMAD, which is one meal a day. Some days I do the warrior diet. Some days I do 18-6, usually depending on what's going on and what the schedule is and, you know, you know how I'm feeling and that, that kind of stuff. But I am intermittent fasting every day and it's made a huge impact for me. I think um, besides the, the hormone things that some people think are a reason that intermittent fasting really works, some very uh, important things not to overlook on um, why this works is the shorter your window, the harder it is to overeat, right? For me, you can only get so much in, in a smaller window, right? So if I'm eating 2000 calories a day, right? Um, before my diet, I was eating 4,000, 5,000 calories throughout the day. But if I'm if I go on a diet and eat 2,000 calories a day and split it up between five little meals, right? That's not a lot of calories per meal that I'm getting. If I cut that down to two meals, right, and I'm eating 2,000 calories a day, now I'm having 1,000 calorie meals, two of them. So I can really eat. I can have big, satisfying meals. I I just try to focus and make sure they're healthy ones. I don't want to go eat, you know, McDonald's. I don't want to go eat, you know, pizza and chips. I want to eat healthy, whole foods. But I can have a nice, large, satisfying meal, and that's why it works for me. It's hard for me to eat these little meals. When I do intermittent fasting, my meals get regular sized for the most part. Um, also. I won't lie, it's very hard to do at first. Your body has to adjust. But the more you do it, the better you get at it. It's like exercise. Like the more you exercise, the stronger you get. With intermittent fasting, the longer you do it, the more your body becomes used to it. And, you know, where I used to be, be hungry right after I woke up because your body was expecting breakfast, after I didn't eat breakfast for a while I don't, and started eating at 1 or 2 o'clock, now I start getting hungry at one or two o'clock because that's my body has gotten used to, hey, that, that's the time you usually eat and it's, it's letting you know, hey, it's time to eat, right? So that's fantastic. Yeah, so intermittent fasting alone has it cut my cravings during the time I'm not eating and it is very easy. You drink, uh, I can drink coffee, black coffee, uh, unsweet tea and water. Those are the three things I stick to when I'm in the fasting window, meaning I'm not eating anything. So all morning I have coffee, I might have some tea, I have water, and it gets me through. And, uh, you know, once I start eating, again, my meals are more substantial and I feel more satisfied. So that's a big reason why intermittent fasting uh, works for me. Also, when you start fasting and doing intermittent fasting, food will taste amazing the you know there's a there's a quote that says the best spice in the world is hunger and it's absolutely true if you go for a long period of time without eating anything and then you sit down and say eat i don't know a tomato it's the best thing you've ever had and it's one healthy ingredient so a big benefit for me is because I can now really appreciate the tastes and flavors and textures of, of, of real food, um, I can eat healthy and really enjoy it. It's also killed my cravings for sugar. It's killed my cravings for salt. Uh, I don't have cravings for that stuff anymore. Um, I kind of have cravings now for healthy food. And when I eat healthy food now, because I've gone so long each day without eating anything, it's delicious and it is satisfying. So that's a big reason why intermittent fasting has definitely worked for me in a very big way. Um, so, you know, and, and, and it comes right down to it. Um, you know, it's all about, you know, how much calories you're putting in your body and how much you're burning. 
And like I said, it's much harder to overeat your calorie goal when you're cutting your window down uh, for the time that you will actually be eating food. So it helps me reduce the amount of calories I eat. When I do eat, I'm able to eat bigger meals and feel very satisfied. And it makes the food I do eat way more delicious so I can focus on making sure I'm eating healthy meals, whole grains, fruits, vegetables, lean meats, those kinds of things, um, instead of pizza and chips and, and all that. <clears throat> So, uh, and one more benefit to this is when I, if I do go out for dinner, for if I know I'm going out for dinner on a Friday, for example, I might even skip lunch and do the one meal a day for that day. So then when I go out to a restaurant, I don't have to worry so much about what am I going to order? You know, how much is, calories is that dressing going to have? You know, do I have to have, you know, the garden salad <laughs> and some cottage cheese or, the, you know, the, do, or do they have a diet plate? You can pretty much order <clears throat> just about anything you want if you're having just one meal a day because <clears throat> even the biggest restaurant meals aren't going to be crazy, right? You st I still think you want to make healthy choices. Like I want to order a uh, chicken breast or salmon or a steak, you know, with a side of vegetables, for example, um, I don't want to order, uh, you know, the, the, uh, a big, you know, piece of lasagna and have pie for dessert with ice cream. And, you know, I, I still want to try to make healthy choices, but you can, you can go out to restaurants and not worry about it as much when you do one meal a day. So I hope this is helpful. Again, intermittent fasting is not something you need to do to lose weight. You can do many small meals a day throughout the day, like programs like, you know, Nutrisystem or, or Jenny Craig will, will provide you. Uh, you can <clears throat> do three meals a day, like a regular thing and cut out snacks and reduce your calories that way. Uh, there's, this is not something you need to do, but for me, it's something that absolutely has made it so easy for me. And I can do this for the rest of my life. That's how easy it is. So hopefully if it sounds like something that you might be able to do, I would highly recommend you give it a try. Just make sure you combine it with the other uh, things that I have done on my Geek Fitness Plan. Uh, I think if you do those, the, the first four things that I've talked about, you're going to be well on your way. That's one you've got to have purpose right? You got to have a reason to lose weight that's driving you. Um, the second thing is you've got to count your calories. You've got to track them, right? You got to know how many calories are going into your body is a very important thing. Uh, intermittent fasting is a very, very uh, helpful tool. For me, it has been Maybe you're going to have a lot of trouble with it. Maybe you'll be like me and it will, it'll be very hard for a couple weeks, uh, but then it will get easier and easier to where it becomes a part of your life. And then when you combine that intermittent fasting with eat, eating real whole foods and avoiding the processed foods and the sugar, now you've got, you know, you got some things going on that are really not just going to help you lose weight, but your health is going to improve dramatically. So I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if it was. Uh, if you like what I'm doing here, if you're getting any good information, if it's helping you in any way, please uh, like and subscribe to the channel and share it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please ask. You know, I'd like at some point maybe to do some uh, live, um, you know, live streaming events where people can can ask questions maybe it'd be better to do th some things that way um, so let me know what you'd like to see uh, and thanks for watching i appreciate it